fact that you know, Rutgers just fired this coach, and you guys were in a similar situation last year with first game against Texas. Um, how how emotional uh, do you remember the team being? That first, and obviously it was more than just the coach. It was obviously with you guys, with Jordan. But but in terms of what you're expecting Saturday from from Rutgers, in terms of emotion, you know, do you expect them to be sort of a different team than maybe they've shown? The first few weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the Big Ten is a tough, tough out. Everybody tough in the Big Ten. Mm-hmm. It's not. There's nobody, even to the top, to the lows, everybody tough. So I know they're going to bring their A game, so we just got to make sure that we want to practice on our P's and Q's and bring our A game. Mm-hmm. And, and how much does it factor in when, you know, when there is a, a, a big event like a coaching change. I mean, how much does that factor into what you guys did last year? I mean, it, it, it was a big factor, but, you know, when you got a, a bunch of guys that want to just come together and, you know, say, this is it. You know, it happens, you know. Life goes on. We're going to have to keep moving and, and just fight together and just fight every day mm-hmm. try to get better, try to get good habits and behaviors mm-hmm. just so we can move on and get better as a person and as a football player. Antoine, what do you guys have to do to win on Saturday? Honestly, we have to stay focused. You know, don't you know? Don't put our head down. You know, just keep looking forward because honestly, it's only week four. You know, it's not it's not the end of the world. We just gotta keep our head down and just keep pushing for real. Like, it's, it's not really much to say. We just gotta play hard. You know, tackle more. You know, get make sure the quarterback got time. Or, you know, because he, he is professional, you know, we're going we to do that. So hopefully, you know, this practice, we can practice, we just stay focused and, and make sure our head is on and not, you know, thinking about the past or this game or last week's game before that. Nick Cross had a lot of run out there with you guys. How do you rate his performance? Yeah, and Nick Cross, he, he did good. You know, I'm, a, I'm you know, I think he, he's a little bit like me, a little bit, you know, a little similar, you know. But he's, he's a very good player, you know, good kid. You know, he tried to uh, keep his head on. You know, he, he missed a couple of plays, but I missed a couple of plays. So it's, it's, you know, me as a leader, just keep his head up and keep moving forward for him. But he made a good plays, and that's when I congratulate him, you know, every day about his hard work and what he's doing on the field. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing, and you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. What do you see as the similarities between you two? I mean, honestly, it's just the size. You know, you know he's a little fast, you know, I guess with the track speed, but I'm still faster than him. <laughs> you know, I can't give him that, but, you know, honestly, you know, he hit hard. You know, he try to stay focused, and he, he do got that. I want to go get him mentality. Did you say anything to him after his first time? Yes, sir. Um, congratulations. Come on, we got to keep going. Because, you know, we was down, so I couldn't really congratulate him how I wanted to. So, you know, it's a tough game. We just got to keep trying to make plays every, every day for real.